Right, here we go. Week 8 of looking like a spaniel. Thanks for that, Boris. Um, wow, where'd you start with coronavirus? <laughs> where'd you fucking start? Listen, yes, I've got a good joke for you. Um, what's got eight eyes and eight legs? Eight pirates. <laughs> Right, uh, this time last year, exactly this weekend, although it was the 18th, and obviously Monday is the 18th this year, but it, it was this weekend of, of May, um, I had a special visit from Cambridgeshire Constabulary. Um, now, if you haven't seen that, I think it's called Cambridgeshire Police Really Have Nothing Better To Do. But five of them turned up with their bailiff mate with a six month out of date warrant <laughs> and begged me, <laughs> begged me I say to come to the door. <laughs> please, please open the door Paul, please, so we can unlawfully arrest you for a six month out of date warrant because we're Nazi fucking pukes. <laughs> Needless to say I didn't and 27 minutes they were there for. Well I dare say Chief Constable Nancy Nick Dean nearly lost his job over that one. So it's all gone a bit quiet since then. I haven't heard a fucking thing. <laughs> so if you're looking for it, it was May 18th. It was uploaded overnight, actually, so I think it comes up as um, May 19th because I was sat in the pub uploading it on my phone and the reception was so shit. It took about three hours. Um, and I watched the gay pride police van drive around the square patrolling whilst I was drinking <laughs> you fucking wankers um, right god you can you can car share now as long as the windows are open and you don't look at each other because <laughs> that's much safer than being in a house with someone where you could sit like opposite sides of the room you know Although presumably you're not allowed to look at each other then anyway. Um, you can go and meet a mate in the park. Don't sit on a bench though, because then you'll die. Shit. Fuck. I was lucky. That was a coronavirus sneaking up on me. Luckily I stayed alert. <laughs> Alright, don't sit on a park bench because the council will come along and move you on because they're the new Nazi fucking Stasi. Um, you can go in someone. Sorry, you can go in a park, but you can't go in someone's garden because that's you drop fucking dead on the spot. Then if you go in someone's garden, but you're allowed in the park, um, you're not allowed to go and see your own family. But childminders are. So childminders are allowed into houses that you are not allowed into. Um, even though you can sit in a car with someone as long as you don't look at each other and the windows are open. Imagine that, doing 70 down the motorway. Close the fucking window. I can't. I'll die of coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I fucking give up, I tell you. If this isn't a fucking political paragraph for absolute fucking control to utterly destroy any fucking remaining democracy we've got left... I don't know what it is. The sickening fucking putrid Nazis in Whitehall, really. I, oh. Resign, Boris. Fuck off. We don't want you anymore. You're fucking useless. You still haven't got Brexit done. You fucking moron. I mean, over three years, honestly, over fucking three years, and we're back to the point of, uh, should we have a no deal then? Which is what the people wanted in the fucking first place. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, it's come out now that every arrest, arrest, during coronavirus, was unlawful. Even the CPS has said that now. This was coming out Thursday, Friday on Facebook. It's now on Twitter. 
so they've all been overturned or stopped. But today, Piers Corbyn, Jeremy Corbyn's brother, was arrested in London at one of the anti-lockdown protests for not giving his details, which is not an arrestable offence. And of course, neither is is uh, flouting lockdown. Because even this fucking CPS has made it. But the fucking Met Police are still at it because they're a bunch of Nazi fucking pricks as well. This is, this is fucking Christina Dick, isn't it? Sitting in her office, frigging herself off. Having fucking orgasms over arresting people for fucking, well, totally illegally. This is who's fucking starting this, isn't it? So the, publicly, the police are now going against the word of the CPS. I mean, the CPS are bad enough, as we found out on this channel, because they won't even fucking talk to you. You're not even allowed to give a legal defence. But it, I mean, they're supposed to be fucking lord and master of the police when it comes to fucking taking people to court. But the police, are, they're now totally fucking ignoring that. Oh no, we can fucking arrest him we want because we're Nazi fucking thugs. I'll just beat this guy over the head with a fucking stick because I can. I don't know what's happening, guys, but it's not fucking good. 